Those vaults contain my organization's biggest secrets. I almost died. Biggest secrets, huh? I need to know what they were hiding. What if you don't like Understatement of the year. Nothing venture. I mean, it's not like the GRE was already exposed. We're trying to weaponize the Haran virus already. And what did is that where Rice actually got that file from? From that GRE database? Yeah, but I know this is not the end of the game. I know for sure this is not the end of the game. Unless that demo for Dying Night 2 was not uh, a scene from the actual final game. When they created the THV gen mod, they had to protect their employees. But the THV... The chemicals. They came up with blockers. Shots that would shield their workers for a few minutes from the fumes. Except Fortunately, you're standing right next to it. I still have... I... have panic attacks when I'm in tight spaces. Here we go. Well, that was easy. Oh shit, it's a lockpick? Fuck me. Shit, shit, shit! How did they hit me out of the air? And the enemies are still moving because I died. Wow, look at that bullshit! Look at that teleporting nonsense. And they just look. I don't stand a chance. And they still know where I am. Shit. Yeah, I, I saw that coming, but I pressed the wrong button to dodge. But I knew it just wouldn't work. Because I think that ability has a bit of uh, tracking on it. So what does this respawn and last story point mean? That did nothing. And the enemies are still moving, so they can still see me. I don't know what to do. How the fuck are they hitting me when I'm in the air? Look at this fucking bullshit with the phantom range. They're not even climbing. I can't even isolate them properly because they keep moving around so much. Gotta get rid of these fucking virals. That is bullshit! Do you see that? He wasn't even jumping in my direction, but because I was right near him, the game automatically put me into a fixed grab animation, and he got that hit out on me. This is fucking retarded. And they know where I am. They know exactly where I am the moment I enter. Okay, this is where I should be able to use firecrackers. So let's see what this does. I've never had the chance to use this meat before. Get down, imbecile! There's a demolisher too. Wow. Why do we have to hold it this time? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Why do I have to hold it? Previously, I just had to tap the button. Enemies nearby. Where? Where is there an enemy nearby? Why can't... What? What enemy is around? I don't see anything! Uh, this is bugged. It's acting like there's enemies around, but there aren't. It seems like this game is just filled with a lot of bugged quests. And these are just the story missions alone. Uh, I'm gonna have to, uh, leave the game and come back. Cold War? A period in the last century. Oh wow, he doesn't know about the Cold War! ...on a grander scale. It wasn't just about day-to-day -day That's that's like a nice little detail. I like that. V lamps and food scraps. In a way, though, it was just like things are now. That is a pretty cool detail. The fact that uh, Aiden doesn't know about the Cold War because of the fact that the uh, apocalypse happened essentially, so we don't recall such events like that in this kind of environment. 
need to open these doors somehow. Maybe from the other side. Was why are they putting in that animation when all it had to do was say, "Oh, the door can't be opened from this side." I swear to God, it's like another team was developing this part of the game. Or they just completely forgot how they programmed in the, the text box for, Oh, the door cannot be opened from this side. Just out of nowhere. We still haven't seen the butcher yet. Like I've said before. No, okay. Can you get- Stop grabbing on to the fucking ledge when I'm trying to drop. I wonder, can, can I actually, uh... No. It won't let me. I have to get an upgrade for it. That's dumb. You finally know what happened to your sister. And yet this is not the final part of the game. What about your parents? I don't remember them. Just her. We... <laughs> we were a good team. Without her, it's like, uh... God, I don't know. You don't know what? Well... I don't really know who I am. It's really dumb that you have to purchase an upgrade, it seems, for the grappling hook to actually pull off uh, vent covers, when it just seems like a simple thing to do without an upgrade. Oh, here. Okay. Yeah, I thought you needed the grappling hook for that, which is why I didn't initially go for it. Dr. Veronica Ryan, Director, Field Laboratories Department? A mid-level GRE doctor, my ass. Of course. <laughs> Was there ever any Seems doubt? to be Veronica's office. You weren't honest with me, Veronica. See, th this is... something that I don't feel this game understands. Betrayals like this actually have meaning when... they're used sparingly, but I just feel like throughout most of this game, it feels like we've been betrayed by so many characters, like so many characters have ulterior motives, so many characters are hiding secrets, that if it's so commonplace, like if everyone and their mother is doing this, this doesn't feel so impressive anymore. Small children showed natural immunity to the virus. We saw a correlation between age, brain development, and infection severity. Wait, really? What about those screamers? What about the screamers that you encountered in Dying Light 1? They were little children. So children had a natural immunity to the virus? And that's why they were experimenting on them? I don't know if that is the best reason for that. Because then how do you explain those screamers then? Those were little children that were infected by the Haran virus. And they had the ability to emit a high-pitched scream that stunned you. So what's up with that then? Grab the fucking ledge, dude! He's not grabbing the I'm coming- I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. It's over. Yeah, it's done. But that was- that was stupid. Like, come on! Be fucking dynamic with your parkour! I had the ability! I had the tic tac ability, I should have been able to get over there, but no, the game would not let me grab the ledge, because I was technically cheating. Fucking retarded. It's cool that you're able to do these sequences without the need for the abilities, but come on! Let us be fucking creative! And I don't- and once again, if you don't have the stamina for this, you won't be able to get the sequence done. Well, it is- Data classified. Only one note. Warning. Patient shows an above average tolerance to the substance. Most tests performed. What substance? Exemplary results. Well, Checking. One record. The substance was also tested on some infected. It was eventually shut down. Is there anything more about this? In here? I doubt it. But I heard about it. X-13 was a hot... And the substance? There were so many tests and clinical studies, Aiden. Let me search the... Something's wrong. What do you mean? It says a procedure's... Another? I'm looking... Started, then paused... Eleven years ago. Resumed huh. a few days ago. In egg, there's also a <laughs> several locations are marked. Oh, now my infection is going to reveal itself here. I think. God, the detection on the vault is screwing me right now. Like he would not vault. Come on. There we go. These locations on the GRE system. Missile strike. The failsafe protocol. Listen. 
God damn, these enemies do so much damage. Damn it, at least I got that heal out. I hate that move so much, where they just stand still and just swipe their weapon. And then they have a combo attack as well. Wow. <laughs> oh, nice. Look at them not climbing up. There we go. Oh, this checkpoint's gonna respawn all the enemies. It's not like that kind of checkpoint. Aiden, Aiden, he killed me instantly! The RPG designs are definitely playing a role in this part. This guy will not get up here. Is that guy an archer? Is that why he's not coming up? No. Ow. Why does that cause you to take damage? Stuck in... I, I feel like every time I just dodge into walls. The plot's definitely thickening right now. That, that knockoff Albert Wesker is here. Another running sequence with Waltz? Okay. Wow, really? We're doing this again with this dumb sequence? At least she's not closing doors behind her like Lawan was in that first chase. Give it to me! Oh, now he's affected by UV light. When he was standing right next to a UV light when he was first transforming. Why do you need this key, fucker? What have you done with me? Uh... Little boy. Oh, now we're fighting Waltz, and he's he's immune to the. Oh, now his hands are glowing. Oh wow! Now now he's getting into that sort of realm of stupidity with mythological aspects, or like silly um like. Magical designs. That is so stupid for a sci-fi game to have this. I'm pressing the wrong button to attack for whatever reason. <laughs> Just pressing R1. Jesus Christ, what is with the flaming hands, dude? Do they really have to be that, like, fantasy-like? I bet he's immune to the air kick. Let's see. It didn't even detect, what the fuck was that? Uh, what? He just fell through the geometry. He just fell right through the geometry. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? That's what happens when you use the air kick on him. He falls through the geometry. How has he not hit a death barrier? Oh my god, this game. Every time. <laughs> fucking stupid. Kill you. I'm stuck. What the fuck is going on? Oh, now he's not instantly killing me just out of nowhere. Wow. So he only got those properties during those chases just arbitrarily out of the blue. Just like a game. That's fucking stupid. Look at that. Do I have any ranged weapons? Let me see. I haven't invested a lot in ranged weapons. Let's equip this. That did no damage! Are you fucking kidding me?! 
How does that do less damage to the pipe? Ah, oh, this game has no logic. Okay, that did a little bit more damage, but still not enough. How the hell does that not do more damage? <laughs> this is such a dumb final boss fight. Does the UV light do anything against him? Let's see. Oh, now it's not doing anything against him, even though he was previously weakening him. Wow. Nice game logic right there. It, wow, does barely any damage. There is no logic to this. How the fuck does he hit me like that? Like, what kind of an attack is that? Why does he suddenly have these kind of, like, superpowers? Just being able to fire, like, energy from his hands. He's immune to the kick. This is fucking stupid. Can I use the vault kick? It didn't let me use... Th Why didn't it let me use the vault kick? Come on. It's not working! What's happening? Oh no! No! Shit! Damn it! No. I'll kill you. Not feeling it, bro. Not feeling the emotions from Aiden right now. Yeah. So fucking dumb. Don't these developers have brains? Yeah. And why the hell is this vault kick not working? Are they seriously expecting me to deal with this guy who just has all these like really stupid armor properties out of nowhere? Oh my god, he just will not do the vault kick. If this is their idea of a final boss fight, this is fucking stupid. This is so heavily dependent upon the RPG le level design right here. You have to have the most powerful weapon to deal so much damage to him. Your abilities just magically don't work on him. He, just, he doesn't get affected by the slide. The dropkick, for whatever reason, doesn't work because it's just causing Aiden to flinch in midair. He's just spazzing out. And I can't do the fucking vault kick. And now Walt um, suddenly just has superpowers out of nowhere. He suddenly has metahuman abilities. Like all these fantasy-like abilities. Like, what is he, a wizard? And now he's stuck blocking for whatever reason. The dude's practically emanating crystal chemicals or whatever it is. And now he's using them as range projectiles. Like, what the fuck is that shit about? Get the fuck out of here with that kind of crap. At least the spitters had a justification for it because they were firing gastric acid. But this guy, why does he suddenly have... Like, I don't even know how best to describe it, like fantasy range abilities, like he's firing magic spells at you. <laughs> Look at it. This is so stupid. It looks so dumb. If this, this is not the final encounter, it can't be because we haven't met the Butcher yet. We have not met the Butcher yet at all. We have not done that mission from the E3 demo. Should have died years ago. And his voice acting still doesn't sound any better. <laughs> oh, now Aiden's inner demon is finally expressing itself. Am I supposed to be shocked by this, really? After that pitiful boss fight with Waltz? And with his magic superpowers or whatever? <laughs> God, so stupid. They, these developers don't understand how to do these moments better. Yeah, it's just, it's so obvious that it's not the final encounter. That was fucking stupid. That was dreadful. That was... 
You expect me to get any payoff from this? Are you fucking serious? Back. Thank God. That that was that was god awful. That was really bad. It was me. There was nothing in the GRE database about me. It had the greatest effect on me. Now it's suddenly about a drug and there's no relevance to the Haran virus, it seems. Or maybe the substance was made from the Haran virus. <laughs> what is this? Now, now they're just pulling ideas of the thing, or maybe this was indicated somewhere else, but I just didn't really care so much because uh, the story on this game is just leaving a lot to be desired. Feel something. I can't stop them alone, Aiden. Now you're talking. And you had UV lights in your inventory, dude. You have the UV flashlight. That, that was an underwhelming, just poorly paid off part of the game. It's it just feels like every scene with Waltz has the same like tragic, just poorly written, just poorly constructed content. Every single part with Waltz. Like you expect me to be blown away by that? Are you fucking kidding me? It's just I I can't even put to words how disappointed I am with that part of the game. That was dreadful. That is a colossal like, waste of time right there. Let's just get this done. I now want to finish this game more than ever. Because of how disappointed I am with it. I just I don't see it improving anytime soon. Like, I'm not being sarcastic or anything, guys. I was legitimately disappointed with that whole sequence with Waltz. And now about this whole substance, and then with X13, and X10, and Veronica. I mean, it's just, we've been doing so much, and the main, like, the whole real story with Mia, Waltz, and all these other things, I don't feel like it's just getting enough attention to really warrant, like, the right emotions. Oh no, the Colonel, I'm sorry. Not the Colonel, uh, I'm not, not the Butcher, I was talking about the Colonel. Yeah, the whole time I was thinking of, uh, the Butcher, I actually meant the Colonel from the E3 demo. Likewise, Nicholas. And wow, look at the way I'm talking right now. It's like I haven't even gone through what I've just went through with Waltz. Wait, how is it that Matt isn't trying to betray me right now? Why isn't Matt trying to kill me right now? I feel like I've asked this question at least five times at this point. Like, it feels like the choices aren't settling in properly. It's almost like those scenes were designed without any sort of choice beforehand. It's like, originally, this game wasn't supposed to have any choice, but now it just had choice. And so, that's why uh, Matt's acting like I didn't betray him when I gave the tower to Frank. God damn it. Everyone is just killing me so fast now. And I'm on a time limit as well. And I can take down the peacekeepers for whatever reason. I didn't get the grapple icon for whatever reason. Look at those guys just standing there. Oh, now it gives me the option to do the grapple. Are you serious, dude? You really thought that was work? Quest failed. Great. Just fucking great. Get up here, dude. Get up here, come on! God damn it. I'm gonna be here all day if I don't have the resources to do this. How am I not strong yet? This is. I've been doing how many hours of gameplay and I'm still not strong enough to kill these enemies in one hit? This is taking too long. Oh, 
Oh my god. Now the game's really falling apart right now. And why is there a time limit? Frank's not even around here. He's right over there. This doesn't make sense to have a time limit on this. The time limit doesn't fit the context of what we're doing right now. Oh my god. God, this game is so clunky! And the dodge just doesn't help against that kind of attack. Why are Molotovs broken on this game? Just straight up animation cancels because it's bullshit. And it didn't even give me the option to grapple for whatever reason. This is just, this is fucking stupid. This is really bad. Oh my god. These enemies just don't die. There's just way too many of these guys. Oh my god, I scraped by it the last second. Is it supposed to look like that? And I'm now I'm on a time limit to check on Frank? Okay. I won't the arrow was my She's good with poisons. You'll you already introduced her <laughs> in eight or a side mission. No way. Find five aquatic herbs. Okay. My survivor sense isn't picking up on anything. Oh, there it is. Thank god we're not timed on this. I can't believe I'm having to waste time with this. I should just do this. Yeah, that'll definitely help. The healer said something up. We're expecting you. We'll take you into the stronghold. Who is it? Someone easy to blackmail and control. You'll see. Why didn't you stop him before? I tried, but the fucker panicked after the shooting. Good. Follow it, Aiden. And stick to the rooftops. We can't lose it. Yeah, the, the paraglider is not deploying properly and just staying in an active state. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to make it. There's no way. Jack, I'm losing it. God, the signal's fading again. Stick to the rooftop, Faden. I'm not really feeling the epic chase right now. I'm just not feeling it. Oh my god, grab the ledge, dude! And wasn't I in this building before? I remember traversing this exact same structure. Good. I'm so glad to finally finish this. So you mean to tell me, we have gone so long in this game without seeing either the Colonel or the Butcher, and we're only getting to see them now. I'm... I'm seriously confused right now. And this is the epilogue. I have to get out of here. 
This can't seriously be the final part of the game. Well, it's definitely seeming like it if that Volatile is right there. Yeah, he did the exact same kind of thing in Dying Light 1's ending, where you had to run away from a whole bunch of infected. Bet you were still climbing up a tall structure, but I don't even know what we're climbing right here. And he just says, it's some building. Is that really what you want to send off as being like the final area of the game? I mean, this, this has to be a trick, probably. And god, these guys have so much life. How's this motherfucker? <laughs> See, why does he magically die? There's something about the way they collide with certain geometry that allows them to instantly die. See, he died. Why? Why is it that when he collides with certain geometry, like this table, and he falls down, it's the same case with that one other renegade I knocked into a bathtub and he instantly died. It somehow allows the enemies to die instantly. I don't know how. Yeah, and the game is so rigid in its designs, you can't just simply jump or crouch under attacks. It has to adhere to the perfect parry or the guard. Because that's good game design, right? That's not lazy game design. What the hell? At least the archers die fast. This guy will not get knocked down. He's dead? Oh, there's spikes there. And he's using Molotovs. God damn it, really? The game is really trying to up the ante on this really crappy combat system. He's hitting me through the wall! What the fuck? Don't developers learn anything? Do they not know how to disable hitboxes through geometry like Resident Evil 7 does? And now he's just gonna kill me with his bow and arrow. Because wasting time with a shitty combat system leaves you open to other enemy attacks. Whoa! Whoa! Did I've never seen that before. That's not even an ability. What was that? Oh, come on, he cancelled my animation. There we go. Gotta get into the habit of doing that more often. Using those railings. Just get me in. The butcher's got me by one bullet. That's a fucking flight. That was all from the demo. So you mean to tell me the, the mission they showed in the demo was part of the epilogue? Exactly. <laughs> Something's wrong here. Be careful. What matters is it didn't happen here. Oh my god, th this doesn't make any sense. This doesn't feel like something that's part of the epilogue. And they see me underwater? What the fuck? Get up! None of this has the tone of an epilogue, unlike Dying Light 1. When you enter Rise's tower and you're running past the infected and he plays that music with the, the slave music. And then you're just doing all that epic parkour. That has the makings of an ending, but this doesn't feel like it at all. This feels like uh, something that should have occurred in the middle of the game. 
And normally with demos, they put missions fr from the middle of the game into the demo that they're trying to showcase. Nice animation cancel. Genius. Great design. Wow, these enemies are dying fast compared to the Renegades I fought previously. Why? Why is it so different? Open the door! Oh, never mind. Locked from the inside. I'm just gonna let him kill me, because th this is not working out. There's a ladder there. But how am I supposed to get in there? And once again, why do I have to have an upgrade on my grappling hook to actually open vents? So stupid. It's clear it's almost like they want you to use the vents here. But then they want to restrict it to an upgrade. Wow, no flinch. Awesome. Great design. And he's just standing on uh, atop thin air. And he's not falling in. Good to see Water still instantly kills these enemies. Jesus Christ, they're all coming. <laughs> I don't care, guys. I just... I don't really care as much about this game anymore. I really don't. Oh my god, the combat is so shit in this game. I am so dead. And ev the enemies don't have any kind of stamina penalty. They're able to attack as freely as they want. Just how the hell do I get inside here? Just how? There must be... Wait, there's an, there's a down area. Like, uh, enemies nearby. Come on. I don't think I'm going to be able to lose the enemies. And I cannot use the grappling hook for whatever reason. It will not let me use the grappling hook on any of these structures. There we go, finally! But it was pointless. There is no reason for me to come up here. I'm getting so bored right now, it's not even funny. You have got to not be spotted by the enemies. Oh, of course. There's enemies everywhere in this stronghold. God, there's so many of them. I've never seen this many enemies before. I got something for you, you piece of shit. Oh my god, come on. How much longer am I going to keep putting up with this bullshit? Come on, that was a that was a stun. How was that not a stun? And somehow the other enemies weren't alerted. I guess I can finally get this stupid section done. <laughs> Yo.
You're good. Who? I don't know, Aiden. I don't give a fuck anymore. I just I want to. I want this game to end. <sighs> Screw this. It's Matt Aiden. He's the one who tried to have Frank killed. Oh, good. I found those bodies cleared out on Matt's orders. They were peacekeepers disguised as renegades. Matt set Frank up. So I picked the right Where choice. Now? Obviously. I'm looking for him. We've got his number now. Yeah, the peacekeepers are always gonna be the enemy, it seemed. Anyone? Of course it's gonna be that kind of developer who makes the renegades seem like the good guys all of a sudden. Honestly guys, I just I just want this game to end. I'm seriously getting bored of it. Oh dear me. Me, I have, I have so much crap. These grenades are fucking useless. Aiden. That should now go. It keeps saying find Leon's wife. <laughs> I'm going to you are not kill the train. You look like you said hey, Frank lie. Have you told your man? Lie! You wanted Williams. These are the lies of a trick. Kill it. But they're that's Black Williams. I order you to kill the army collapsed because they were shooting civilians. Peacekeepers formed to stop that happening again. Crazy, okay? We you, you, you stand trial. Back for back. Oh my god, man. I need to get the key from Walt. I'll bring some in. Oh my god. Uh, what the fuck am I playing right now? I really don't know what I'm playing anymore. I've seriously lost any more interest in playing this game. I'm not even gonna do the side missions after I do this. I, I don't think I'll ever play this game again. I'm seriously getting bored of it. Like, so much has happened and I've just skipped a lot of it. And oh, you side with the colonel, because like, th it's that developer, the enemy is not what it seems all of a sudden, even though the colonel is literally running a bunch of meth addicts with the stupidest voices I have ever heard, and they really come across as villains. But the developers just want you to just randomly have the thought of seeing past that, just to pick that choice at the end with the colonel, and just ally with him, and come to realize Matt was the one who was uh, the villain here. Because the peacekeepers just seem like the main villains. I mean, it's it just seems like this game is all about wolves and sheep's clothing. I mean, Carl was a villain, Ador was a villain, Matt was a villain. All of them trying to come across as sheep, when in actuality they were just wolves. This game doesn't... I honestly feel like this game doesn't know how to make an intriguing story. It doesn't know how to make the open world satisfying. It doesn't know how to make the characters that intriguing. I mean, there were some interesting ones. But it's like it's so and your, your choices don't have much of an impact which i'm glad because i don't like the idea of choice influencing the progression of the game if the missions themselves are just very boring missions yeah i'm, I'm not touching this game again after this i'm definitely not touching this game after this where is the goddamn tunnel entrance <laughs> Why is this suddenly happening? Damn. There's nothing here. Hack on. Hack on, you there? Coming. What the hell is going on? Why did that happen all of a sudden? More poor scripting on the game's part. And these whole moments when Aiden just goes into that a feral state. It's all just done as a way to handicap himself so that he doesn't kill the villains too quickly. It seems. Now we're seriously going to have to suffer through multiple of these seizures. That's sort of the build up to the final part of the game. Uh, holding square on that uh, self-propelled artillery in Resident Evil Village to start Heisenberg's boss fight is more epic than most of this game, pretty much. I'm just not feeling it. If it extends beyond this point... Ugh... This game's gonna be even more dragged out. I seriously just want this game to end. I'm so bored of it. 
Enemies nearby. Where? I don't see any enemies. What, below me? Oh my god. What is wrong with this scripting? We have to quit the game now.